Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, we're going to talk once again on how to actually keep your computer safe and secure with Windows 10, Windows 11, as to do also with a lot of other operating systems. This one has to do with the types of accounts your system has. Now if you're the only one using your computer, then this is not very important if you know that nobody else is going to use your PC. Um, you don't have to do this and you can um, stay an administrator, but even if you're the only user, sometimes being a local account instead of an administrator is not a bad idea even for everyday use because it has some protection to it. Now, if you are using your PC and sharing it with others, do create specific accounts for each user and make sure they are not administrators. So when you go to your, uh, right click on the start button, go into your settings and go into the accounts page. When you actually have other accounts, your family and other users, you can create what we call a local account. What's the difference between the standard administration account? So mine is an administrator, as you see here, it says at the bottom, just below my image. And of course, you have what's called a local account. Now, to do a, a local account, all you have to do is simply add someone else to the PC, follow the instructions, and specify that it's a local account you want, not an administrator. By default, all added users in Windows 10 and Windows 11 are local accounts, unless specifically uh, applied as an administrator. Now, the uh, local account restricts what you can do in Windows. And this is a good thing because at the administrator, you have full control. You have access to what you want. You can install software the way you want. You can download anything from the internet and install it. You have really an open access to the system. But a local account doesn't. If malware downloads, if you download a software that you want to install in a local account, it's going to ask permission to the administrator before doing so. That means you have control over what's installed and what's going to happen. And of course, prevents, often prevents even viruses from being able to take access to the computer because they don't have the admin privileges to infect. So everybody else should be a local account. Now, I said something about even if you're the only user, uh, being a local account is not a bad idea. Well, that also protects you because being a local account user prevents you from having malware or software installs. So that means if you do something uh, dumb on the internet by clicking some link or anything, well, you are kind of protected in some way with the local account, and that is definitely a good thing. So even um, when I did my tech guide duties, there were people sometimes that I said, you know, we're going to install yourself as a local account, and that's going to protect you somewhat. And they were not using the administrative account except for very specific tasks uh, from time to time. But um, definitely a local account protects you and makes it harder for anything to infect or get into your PC or computer. So multiple users, add someone to the PC. You can actually click to add someone to the PC here in Windows 10, for example. You can say, I don't have any personal info for sign-in. You can also specify that you want to add a user without a Microsoft account and then follow and enter the info here. Click next and make sure that it's a local account and everything should be fine. And everybody that is um, on a computer, it's not a bad idea for each person to have its own account. So it's more personalized to what they do. Uh, or you can, um, in the case where you would have, for example, a PC in an open room, say you are a, a bed and breakfast or whatever, and you know that there will be some guests using the PC, make sure that the guests always use the local account. It will lower the risk of having malware on your computer. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.